Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part 6 of lecture number 63 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about and practice about select query method. So the select query method allow you to select only a subset of the attributes from entire collection or record. By default, without using select method, you will get all the attributes of a model collection or instance but with select method, you can restrict the attributes appear in record or in a collection and you can only select a specified subset of attributes. For example, let's switch to the Rails console. Okay. Now, if you want to display all the students, let's say with first name and last name and if you do something like student.all, then you will get an entire collection of records. Okay. And here you cannot uh, identify that uh, what attribute exactly exactly you need. It will come with the all the attributes existing in the student table. Or if you perform the query like let's say student dot order let's say ID, you will get the same collection again. And here still you are getting all the attributes of every record. But suppose if you want to display uh, get the record with only ID and first name and last name attribute, then how you can restrict that? You can do it something like let's say student dot select, and here you can only provide ID, first name, and last name. Okay. this will give you a better record better collection it here you are only you can only see the attributes you require to display or attributes you want to display okay or attributes you want to face from the database for a model collection okay and same for the let's execute it for another model let's say course dot select Courses are not available. I think course. So no courses are available here. So let's practice on students only. Now suppose if you want to display record on email basis, or you only want to display email of the students, then you can run student dot select email. Okay. So here you are only displaying email but the id is nil why because you did not mention id in the select method okay and select method is useful when you need a proper subset of attributes rather than fetching all the attributes from the database you can apply select on a where or order query output as well for example let's say student dot where ID and so this will get the only the 10 students from for you okay from ID between 1 to 10 now you can invoke select method on this where clause as well let's say select email and ID so now you will see that uh, 10 records are there with only ID and email. So you can still uh, apply select method on the entire collection of or entire model collection or on a refined collection using with uh, either with where query or uh, order query. Okay, so you can apply this and select method also give you the instance of active record relation rather than a normal array method okay and we will see the difference between array query methods and uh, instance me a active record relation objects when we see the difference between them okay so just like this you can apply select on where and order query output as well okay so that's all for the select method and you can use however you can use uh, this uh, select query method when you need the proper subset of data however this query is not most frequently used because usually we do uh, 
fetch data for using where query or order by query or we fetch all the a complete instance from the database rather than selecting a proper subset of attributes uh, from database but sometimes you need it and then you must have idea about the select method so that it would be uh, helpful for you to writing proper and fast queries because it rather than fetching all the attributes it only selects the selected attribute or the subset you provide in the select as argument okay so this is all about the select query okay in the next lecture we will discuss about the limit method where we can see how to limit uh, resulting data okay so till then practice this select uh, method on different models of your application or whatever models you want to uh, create and then you can apply select on them and just try to be more compatible with select query and we will meet in the next lecture with the limit query method and till then thanks for watching this tata goodbye take care and stay safe